Praise the Lord. Okay. What is the Bible stand on Valentine's Day? Listen. Listen carefully. A lot of pagan festivals, they have quietly crept into Christianity. And we are busy celebrating it. Whereas the Bible says we should not have anything to do, to do with it at all. There are many things in Christianity now that was just smuggled into it, was never part of it from the beginning. One of them is Valentine's Day. One of them is Christmas. One of them is Easter. All those things just crept in cleverly. And Christians accepted it. They were pagan festivals before. Take the issue of February 14. When people celebrate Valentine's Day, it is actually a day they used to celebrate one god or goddess of the Roman Empire. They call the goddess Juno Febrata. Juno Febrata is a Roman goddess of sexual passion. When they want to celebrate that thing in Rome, and I'm sure you know too that the root word for Rome is where we got romance. When they want to celebrate this Juno Febrata meeting on February 14th, men and women will gather in a place and they will pick ballot on who you sleep with. The men will write their names. The women will write their names. They will scatter the paper. And everybody will pick who you will sleep with. Just like that. Most of the people, you've never met them before in your life. That is what they were celebrating that time. Before one pope now took it and made it something so popular is this the kind of thing a christian should be celebrating the love that the bible talks about is not the love where they fire an arrow into that heart any love where they are firing an arrow into your heart it's not love it's lost now valentine valentine was a priest so we read and the government warned him the emperor warned him that he should not be doing marriages for young young men because he felt that the marriages the man was conducting was disturbing people from going into the army valentine did not listen he kept conducting the weddings so they killed him february 14. while they locked the valentine up in jail he fell in love with the jailer's daughter too even in his prison cell and so when he was about they were about to go and kill him he wrote a letter to the lady and he wrote at the bottom your valentine this is how these things started and it crept in and people are now celebrating it take christmas for example nobody knows on which day christ was born the 25th of december that we celebrate it now that day was the day people worship the sun and they have special services dedicated to those who pray to the sun during that song festival people generally gather and drink themselves dance they have a good time animals were slaughtered in that day so the origin of this 25th celebration is in pagan idol worship jesus was not born on december 25th the bible says and there were shepherds watching over their flocks at night in the open field when Jesus was born. No shepherd who come out in December in an open field. In those parts of the world is very cold. It's winter. So, and the Bible makes it very clear. According to the Jewish calendar, Mary conceived in September when Elizabeth was already six months pregnant. That means Elizabeth conceived in April and John the Baptist was born in December. Mary was three months pregnant when Elizabeth gave birth to John the Baptist. So, by simple calculation, to follow Luke chapter 1 verse 26, Jesus was not born in December but in June. And this boxing day we celebrate too. It doesn't mean boxing by hand. It's just boxes that put money for the poor. It was something to celebrate one St. Stephen's Day that became that one too. Easter. Easter really is not the Easter we call it. 
they collect them is Ishta. Ishta is, celib- is the name for the queen of heaven. And so, much, so many things are created like this. But we do not criticize those who celebrate. But it's good to point out why we don't regard it so much. It's because the origin of it is steeped in deep idolatry. I hope I've answered the Valentine question, ma'am. So don't send Valentine card to your wife. Don't send Valentine message to anybody. If you do, you are writing a letter to the spirit of lust, which may create great problems for you later. May the Lord open our understanding. A louder amen. <laughs>